Hey guys, it's Reagan and I'm here to film my part two of my November book haul that I mentioned I was going to film earlier in the month. And yes, I realize it's December 2nd, but, but we're just going to call it uh, November because I have a, a December book haul. Definitely in the works. <laughs> I bought a total of 21 books this month, which sounds like cray, and it is cray. But 13 of those books is one entire series, and um, I actually filmed that segment of my book haul at home, so it's gonna cut to that right now. Hey guys, uh, so yeah, I'm back in my room, but I'm not when this video is going up, but I didn't want to chuck these or haul these books over to my dorm when I'm gonna be back home in a couple weeks after this, so. All right, so basically, the, these 13 books here I bought um, from eBay and it's the entire series of unfortunate events and I don't think I'm not gonna hold up every single book because There's a lot of them and it's kind of redundant It's like the series of unfortunate events and they all came and are currently in this box But yeah, it was a great deal. I got um, All of the books hardback and they're all in really great condition for like $30 with shipping so I was like hey how can I say no to that? Just to document an, a, a huge fail on my part is uh, I was reading The Reptile Room and I don't know, I was gonna go do something and I like just you know, like placed it down like this because I was like, I'm coming back to it. But I didn't come back to it for like two days so it was just like this for like two days. So now I don't even have to like turn to the page I was on because ma magic. <laughs> so lesson kids. Don't do what I did. Use a bookmark. Okay. So yeah, that's the um, series of unfortunate events part of my book haul. So now you're going to cut back to me and I'll tell you the rest of the books I got. Okay, so yes, I just showed, so the first part, or the first 13 books I bought was a series of unfortunate events. So let's move on to my other. The first set of books I'm going to show you guys is actually a trilogy and it's an adult fantasy trilogy and I'm so excited about it like this probably is one of my favorite purchases I've made in a really long time and just to give a little preface um I bought the British covers because the Amer adult fantasy American covers are the most disgusting things most of the time they're just so uh, stupid looking so yeah that does mean I spent an extra twenty dollars to get for the shipping and all that jazz but it was totally worth it and the series I got is the um, Mistborn trilogy so the first one is the Final Empire by Brandon Sanderson. Just look how pretty these are. The second one is The Well of Ascension by Brandon Sanderson. And the third one is uh, The Hero of Ages by Brandon Sanderson. Aren't these covers like beautiful? Don't you understand now why I spent the extra cash to get these instead of the American ones? Because the American ones are awful. Just saying. Google it. It's bad. Um, I have actually already started reading The uh, Final Empire of Brandon Sanderson. I'm about 100 pages in, and just to give you guys a little synapse, uh, so far I'm really enjoying it. Um, basically, this is a fantasy series set around the premise of the idea if um, the evil guy won, right? So the characters are living in this world uh, under the thousand year reign of this evil tyrant who beat the heroes of yesteryear. And um, I'm not super far, so obviously I don't know all, a lot of intricacies and stuff. So that's the general premise. But I'll also have to admit that the magic system in this is so cool and so unique. I've read a lot of fantasy, and normally a lot of magic is just like, oh, you have magic. You can just do the magic, right? Well, this magic um, is centered around the idea of like a mistborn, and a mistborn has magic but it's based off of uh, metal. So they consume metal bits and they burn those metals to do different things. It is magic, but it's different, right? So it's just so good so far and I'm so excited to read this and the whole trilogy pretty soon because I'm kind of in love with it. So yes. Six books I bought off of a uh, book outlet. Is that what it's called now? Yes, I think so. And um, a couple of them I actually got uh, the Scratch and Dent, and they aren't even like Scratch and Dent. So the first book I got is Horton's Miraculous Mechanisms. And I don't know, I'm really into middle grade right now. If you haven't noticed, I mean, I bought the entire series of Unfortunate Events this month as well. Um, and I got this book for like $3. And because it's technically 
scratch and dent and the only damage on this book is I don't even know if you can tell but it's like a little crinkly right there um I actually saw Jesse the Reader, I believe, either haul this or actually read it a really long time ago. And since then, it's intrigued me. It has super interesting, like, it was, like illustrations and stuff. And the story itself just sounds really adorable. It's like an adventure story. Um, I believe the main character has to find his grandfather's, like, workshop of some sort. And it's, like, following puzzles and things. I don't know. It just seemed like a quick, easy, fun read. And I think I'm going to enjoy it. The next book I, th I think is a surprise, surprising maybe to you guys, kind of surprising to me too, and that is a Please Ignore Vera Dietz, Dietz, I don't know how to say her last name, <laughs> sorry, sorry Vera. Um, I don't entirely even know what this is about, but for some reason this contemporary intrigues me quite a lot. And I'm also excited because I just watched a book affairs book haul and she also just bought this up a book closeout. So twins or book outlet, I don't even know what it's called. But from what I can tell, like I read the back and it's basically like her best friend um, died, but she was in love with him like her entire life. Like this is the start of the book. This isn't like spoilers. He died and she knows the circumstances, but right before he died, he betrayed her. So she's like dealing with that. And, like, I just read this little blurb here, and I was in instantly intrigued. It's like, is it okay to hate a dead kid, even if I loved him once? Even if he was my best friend? Is it okay to hate him for being dead? Like, I don't know. I feel like this is going to be really good. Also really, really sad. But I'm really intrigued by this. The next book was actually the entire reason why I did my book closeouts order. And it is <sighs> this beautiful edition of Sun by Lois Lowry. And this is the fourth book in the Giver Quartet. And I'll tell you why I was so excited to see this. Because I wanted to I want to rebuy this whole series in these like um, special edition covers. Like they redid all the covers and I want to get them all in hardback. And this was on there for like six dollars, which is ridiculously cheap. So I'm slowly gonna accumulate all of these books and then reread them. So yay, I'm so excited. I love these covers. The next book I was also really excited to see, and it was actually a, recommend, a recommendation to me by Enchantology. I'll link her channel down below. She's really cool. Um, and it is called Deathless, and it's by Catherine M. Valente. Probably said that wrong. But this is an adult... Um, words. This is an adult fantasy book as well, and the reason why she said I would like it, and she's totally right, I read the premise, and I was like, oh my god, I need to buy, is uh, it's basically like a Russian folklore character traveling through a lot of significant Russian events, but it's also fiction at the same time. So it just seemed really, really awesome and something I would really like, because I love Russian history and I love Russian folklore and all of that stuff, and I found this in book closeouts for like five dollars. I almost fainted. Actually, I did faint. Fun fact. The last book I have to show you, I also got on book closeouts and I got it at a scratch and dent price and I was really surprised to see it on there because I don't even think it's released in paperback yet. I might be wrong. But that is um, Born of Illusion by Terry Brown. I got this for $3 and it's scratch, oh, in Canada, it's $11.99. Maybe this is a Canadian book. But the only thing problem with it is like it's a little bent right there. but. For three dollars, who cares? This, I believe, is like a historical fiction magic book. I think it's set in the 1920s and it has to deal with like illusion. Maybe. Maybe something to do with illusion. Who knows, really, not me. It's just, I'm really intrigued by it. Even though I'm, again, not the biggest fan of the 1920s, this cover is really cool and I love historical fiction and I love magic. So I was like, I can't pass this up. So yeah, so I bought it. Alrighty guys, there ends my part two of my November book haul. Um, yes, I'm really excited to read those books, especially Miss Boren. I'm so excited to read that. Um, so tell me also down below if you guys have read any of these books, and I hope you have a lovely December. It's December. It is 23 days till Christmas. Or 23 days till December 25th if you don't celebrate Christmas. Okay, bye.